Test hello. That's the audio. I've been a little paranoid about the audio, and instead of watching the VOD, I just 
I, I don't do that. <laughs> I, just, I just ask you. <laughs> I think it's fine, thank you. Um, I've actually been updating the knives right now. We're gonna do knives today. Uh, I need to figure out... Oh, knife rarity. Okay. Almost there. Okay, let me switch. Hello! Oh! Oh, I haven't picked the right fraction of the day. I'm gonna pick the right fraction of the day. One second. Uh, what's today's fraction? Today's fraction is... Today's fraction is... Uh... I don't know what today's fraction is. Today's fraction is... Loves me. Money is attracted to me. I love to think about how I can use wealth for the benefit of many around me. I am blessed. I am rich. I am wealthy, I have freedom. What an amazing life I have. I am so blessed to have this level of wealth. I am so blessed. Okay, today's fraction is, I see it, I see it. I did my little meditation. It is one, no, 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 no. It is 340 over 360, 345 over 360. That is today's fraction of the day. To be in the position of prosperity and abundance. Uh, maybe we should have a, every Sunday is an abundance I am Sunday. an amazing creator of wealth. It's all a fraction. Thank you. Thank you. I have Let's everything see, uh, I need to create the life that I want. I am abundant. Let's see Paul I Allen's fraction. I am wealthy. Ooh, what if you guys each had like a different I am business card associated the with the fraction? I truly deserve. You're here for the abundance, thank you. We're doing a little abundance I meditation am the of my this morning. I'm updating the knives right now. It, I, I, so I can update the website. There's like an admin panel now, an thanks to Chandy Man, but I still have to do a little bit of manual stuff. And what it's I getting get, a little, I give. Getting a little wild out there. Okay. 24. I am committed 25. to a life of service to others with the wealth and abundance that I receive. With the wealth I bring into my world, I will give my greatest service I set up way to too others. many manual processes for myself. Processes. I attract the frequency that I, I watch send Mr. out Tips, into the, the world, of technical and tips, I choose and he to process. send out the frequency of abundance. Something in my mind just goes like, <laughs> he's Canadian. I choose Process. to think Oh, you were sleeping? And by thinking in such way, I attract exactly what I deserve. Okay, let's see. Okay, so now I got to... I believe I am worthy of abundance. Oh, shit. And I am attracting abundance into my life. You said, every uh, moment yeah, yeah. Of every day. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, hold on. Chin daggers. Die. Money flows easily uh, to me. Can you log in with Twitch? My financial freedom is only one step away. Abundance okay. is flowing to me. I feel good about money. I'm almost done updating money flows and I'll into the, my life. The Dude, this is ease. actually like being a teacher. This money sucks. comes to me. <laughs> Hold on, this sucks. Unexpectedly. <laughs> Wait a second. This this actually money sucks. Money comes to me in great frequency and in large numbers. I am deserving of abundance. I am worthy of like abundance. Like all this stuff I have to do now. It <laughs> I am grateful for oh, shit. all this I sucks. have and so grateful Fuck, uh... for all that is coming. Everything I want I is coming to okay. me. I can't wait to receive more money. 
This is. <laughs> I am receiving more uh, abundance on a daily what other was basis. There? Oh, album life. Okay. I know I deserve more wealth oh, wait, in what? my That's life. Not who made the album life? I will do so much good with the abundance I am given. Money is a form of energy as I am. I am worthy of attendance. Yeah, this Money is the this is the part this me. is the part where the teacher Money just like is attracted to turns me. on. I you know at I the beginning of some streams I should just wheel I in. Wealth I should I should wheel in uh, like a, the substitute me. teacher like TV and then just I put on blessed. a Hercules. I am rich. You know what I mean? I am wealthy. I have freedom. What an amazing life I have. I am so blessed to have this level of wealth. I am so blessed to be in the position of so prosperity. Confused. I'm so confused. Condition Bleen, thank you for the three months. I am reminder to myself that I need to do of wealth. some uh, sub I have subscri subscriber I analysis. Need I need to know to if my subscriber population is aging. I am abundant. Ah, I am you're so broke. You need this. I am attracting the wealth that I truly deserve. I am the creator of my thoughts and I create my own destiny. Just listen, just listen. An abundance will come your way. I live an abundant lifestyle. And what I get, I give. Ooh. I am committed to a life of service to others with the wealth and abundance that I receive. I'm scared because like this new website that I have to my world, update stuff I with, I'm scared I'm doing it wrong. To okay, there we go. Uh, and this was Akka's knife. I attract the frequency that I send out into the world and I choose to send out the frequency of abundance. Yeah. Do you, so, uh, there's a, a dude on TikTok. I choose to think abundantly. There, there's a dude on TikTok who um, way, well, I attract the exactly the what I deserve. I believe I am worthy of abundance. Okay, I think I we am are attracting abundance into my life almost every moment good to go. of every day. Money flows easily All to right, me. All right, we are good to go. My financial for the freedom is only now one step away. Abundance. Now, is now we, we can do the new me. knives in a, in, later in the stream. I feel good Hello, about good morning. money. A money flow. Oh my god, this thing is so loud. With ease. I'm so sorry. It is so loud. Money comes to me unexpectedly. Money comes to me in great. The levels are crazy. Large numbers. I am money flows easily through me of abundance I, I need one like this but for streaming you know do you think we could record one together we could we could write one together that's like I am gonna be on time I will have a fantastic stream today I will make so many clippable moments I will... Am I subliminally messaging you? Yes. I think w when I when I try to think about what the channel's about, I think it's a Skinner box. We'll compile a list and hire a VA, dude. Actually, that actually sounds so good. Maybe hire like a VTuber, right? I, I don't know. I know anyone who could do this. Hmm. Hmm. Drawn to my antics. Who doesn't like a good Skinner box? You know what I mean? Dude, I was... For real? I just seen a banned Twitter on my desktop, and it's like, if I want to interact with anyone, I just need to do it on Discord or Twitch, which are, like, way better. They're, like, way better... Us social media kind of platforms not 100 percent social media they're just way more fun and make you feel less like crap my viewers won't make my fraction to a sub goal it's not a sub goal i'm not gonna get into this i'm not getting into this hmm. 
my mouth doesn't I, I I don't know if you guys noticed I've adjusted the model a tiny bit it actually I like it a lot better now um and I want to emphasize this is my my meddling um Knight Rider did a great job on the base model but I like added a couple things and I kind of fudged up some good things they did so I had to go back and like reverse a few things but now the mouth I think the, the 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 issue before was like the eyes were not as um the eyes were not as uh i think expressive as the previous model and i i know why it's because i didn't map the irises to like increase and decrease in the right way but now the mouth has to be like i think readjusted a little bit because i think i think the mouth can be a bit more reactive a bit more expressive See if we can do that. Okay. I'm frozen. Oh, okay. Oh, let's try one. Wait. Wait. Hey, okay. back, back. Maybe this is. Oh, this this is this feels a lot better. The viewers will not make every D and D NPC pregnant manifestation. <laughs> yeah, you're noticing the movement. Thank you. Yeah, it was a it was a little. I'm not really good with Unity, so I had to dig around a little bit. And uh, my Unity project is. Uh, let me see if I have it up. Okay, great, awesome. Right here. My Unity project is a mess. It's it's it uh. There's a lot going on. I'm gonna post it in Discord real quick. Pull it up here. Get up. Save. Save to clipboard, please. I just made a folder called screenshots. Okay, and then now I go to the screenshots folder. Fuck. Drag this boy in. All right, check this out. This is my Unity <laughs> project where I have to like bring in every single model I have. And some of them are old. Some of them are not being used anymore. Um, even when I was on the old model, there was like some old stuff being used. Depose City. Yeah, and this is not all of them. There's a lot more <laughs> in this project. It's it's because like this is basically, I am just like reading random Unity tutorials and then, ran and then uh, I'm reading random Unity tutorials and then I'm it's like repeating the most jank processes for them. And so there are like a million versions. There's probably a smarter way to do this. There's probably a smarter way to organize this, but it, it, it I am just clicking and dragging like my, like there's no tomorrow. You know what I mean? There's no coding happening. It's just clicking and dragging. Like there's absolutely no tomorrow. Okay. Is this scary? No, it's cool. It's cool. The white background makes the makes you think of the Matrix scene. Yeah, it does. It does. Neo. What? What's the plan? Toilets. Lots of toilets. Let me say hi to all the attendees. Feature Skeleton Clubs, Ghost Gig, Lup TV, Or Fox Sake, Max VTuber, Ziggy, Mikey303, Yugo B, Elmo, NPP, Unlimited Hot Dogs, Jerry Wanik, Really Tiring Retired. I want to be retired. X Junon, Condition Bleeding, Crispy Papa, B Pasta, Cranky Geek, Feature Skeleton. No, wait. B Pasta was the first person here. Thank you. Kudo one, what's up? Hello, Kudo one. Thank you for checking in. Hey, if you are new here, 
be sure to do attendance. I know I haven't really reminded you guys, but please remember to do attendance. Just so the spreadsheet fills up. <laughs> it, literally, it literally just doesn't do anything but fill up the spreadsheet. I guess I should hook it up to the website. Well, I, I need to work with Chandy Man to see if we can maybe find a way to hook it up to the website. That might be fun. In any case, I, I'm, I have all this fun attendance data I can do something with. You got work soon? Don't worry. Today, uh, Today's going to be a really chill stream. Um, I'm going to do a lot more planning for the week today, but um, not right now. I... Okay, I forgot to tell you. I So at work, I have to tell people when I'm like going to be out for a while, especially if it's for a long time. And so for me, I'm actually going to be out the end of May. Effectively, kind of two weeks. For two weeks. Um, but that actually gives me a really great deadline to get, to try to like do a little, a little stream grind set, you know what I mean? Do a little bit of the screen, uh, do a little, a tiny bit of the stream grind set before, you know, before I have to head out. Well, my eyes like just get smaller so quickly. You're doing this while on the clock, so count the super attendance. Let's go. Did they say anything when I left to live in the New Mexico desert after three months? No. That was a. Uh, it was a more of a downtime. More of a more of a downtime. Am I traveling somewhere? Yeah, I will be traveling. I'll I'll share more details soon. I think once I get things together. Gotta have your CI vacation days. Dude, I'm on um I'm in a situation where I have like the the unlimited PTO schedule, quote unquote, right? But I have a friend who works um at a pretty famous, I would say, you know, but more traditional company. And they do um they they like clock your days. And it's a let me say it's like a a big tech company, so I expected them to do what every other co company does, which is like the unlimited PTO, which is like not really unlimited. Um, but they they accumulate stick days, which is like much more traditional and probably I think according to studies, like just makes people take time off actually. And so they banked up like a month and they're just gone. They're gone for like a whole month. It's pretty incredible. People lose themselves. Yeah, that's true. Jams is going to be gone like all of May. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll make him stream. I'm gonna find him. I'm going to... I'm gonna go on a quest. I'm gonna go on a quest to find them. And I'm gonna put a computer in front of their face and stream, make them stream. Yeah, the other thing is, like, I heard... <laughs> I learned very recently, like a year or two ago, like, parts of Europe just take a whole month off for fun. I'm like, that's awesome. I work with someone who's, um, you know, they're higher up. I want to say they're like, I, I guess they are my manager in a way, but just like not directly. They're like a higher, you know, manager's manager type of situation. And they, they're from Europe and they're like, oh yeah, in Europe, like we'll just take all this time off. I'm like, you know what, can, you're like, you know, you're in charge here. Can we, uh, can we get some of that going? <laughs> can we get a little bit of that going here at this workplace? You know, can we get a little four day work week going a tiny bit? I'm going to find I'm going to have a unique set of skills. In August, dude, that's awesome. Some companies in France do that. Yeah, France, Italy, I think. Oh, healthy. Not going to lie, you know, we got some bonus days off um, this I think past month. It was like Thursday, Friday or something was off. Or at least to me, it was a bonus because I didn't realize it. But I was so ready. Dude, at the end of that break, I was so ready to go back to work Monday and deliver value to shareholders. You know what I mean? It's like, whoa, this feels like really nice. I feel really nice. I actually feel motivated to uh, to increase the 
to increase to, to, to deliver more value to my stakeholders. You know what I mean? To 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 increase shareholder value. I'm like keep this coming, keep this kind of shit coming, cause I'm ready. As long as you can land this remote work position, you're gonna take off the Japan, live in the countryside. Yo, let's go. Live your dream. Live your tr live your truth. And it take two weeks during the summer. It's not mandated or anything. Yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, my position's really lucky, and I feel very lucky to have it. Um. But I, de I definitely tend to stack, like, bigger vacations. Like, I should probably take more smaller breaks, but I tend to just take, like, a, a big chunk. So this, this is, like, my big chunk coming up, and then, like, the end of the year, like, I think traditionally most people have, like, Christmas and New Year's off, and I'm, that's, like, my second chunk. <laughs> most people get 30 days off a year, excluding public holidays. Ooh. Why is a man working for income? Income and stability. Up oh, for abundance, yeah. We have a limited TTO, but your team never takes time off. It sucks. Okay, this is I've talked about this before, but this this really unironically helped me. Not just taking time off, but like having better work-life balance. Pretend, like delude yourself that you have a child. Be like, oh, I gotta go. I gotta take care of my kid. Oh, I, I you know, we're, me and the kids, we're going, um, we're going skiing. We're going uh, snowboarding next week. Me and the kids, we're going, uh, you know what I mean? Me and the kids, we're going, uh... We're going to Disneyland. I'm taking two weeks off. But you don't have a kid. We don't wait to, you know, I, I think everyone has a different choice on whether or not they want children or not. But do not wait to have a child to reap the benefits of the work-life balance, I guess. Just get a pet and do that. You can't take your pet on vacation, though, sometimes. That's true. Yeah, exactly. People are always saying that. That's what I noticed. People are always saying, oh, yeah, I'll take care of my kid. They're always saying that. I'm like, wait a second here. Just find a kid. Keetsy, hello. Yes, parents take those few weeks off a lot. Question. The part, honestly, here's the part that sucks that I really suck at, which is, I think I do good work. People tell me I do good work. And this is this is a PSA. And this, this is the shitty PSA. But you kind of have to gas yourself up a little bit. It sucks, but you gotta do it. It's like making the sh it's like when you're a streamer and you're like, oh, how, how do you, you know, streamers like, how do I grow my channel? It's like, well, part of it is you gotta make short form content and like, Post it places and people will like see your stream and stuff. You gotta like brag about your stream. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. That's like too much work. I'm tired. It's the same thing with like normal office work. You you not only have to do like the good job, you have to like kind of be a annoying influencer about it. With with the clickbait headline. You will not believe what the forecasting model says about our revenue growth in the next three months. <laughs> missing our... Missing our targets? Three hacks to never miss them again. <laughs> How do I stream work? Uh, you melt your brain, pretty much. Psycho streamer lies about his stream for viewers, true. Hey, by, by the way, just I have to make this announcement every time. Remember, fraction of the day, not a sub goal, okay? Fraction of the day, not a sub goal. You guys had some really good ideas for progress bar of the day. 
And I think we might do a timer of the day. That might be really cool. <laughs> but remember, they're not influenced by subscription. <laughs> this is not actually a way to bait out subs, okay? This, this is for real. I am just trying to introduce fun little ideas. Just fuck you. Fuck you, it's not the first time you're hearing about it. I think anyone who streams and works, it's it's tough, not just tech or anything. Anything that takes up your mental capacity, right, during the day. Imaginary number of the day? Yeah, why don't we make this number imaginary? Why don't we make this number imaginary, okay? Boom. Okay, now it should be so much more clear that it's the fraction of the day. It's the imaginary fraction of the day. There's no way you can confuse that for a sub goal. Absolutely no way. Absolutely no way. Absolutely no shot. Maybe a rational number of the day? That's true, one day. You don't like the work it takes to get off the ground to grow though? Yeah. The, the way I have described streaming to other people is... It is... Oh my god, we got too mad at today again. I'm sorry. I've actually tried to not... I have to put, I have to put a quarter in the meta discussion jar. I actually don't want to do it too much. I want to put a, I want to put a quarter in them. I have to put a quarter. It's like the curse jar, but it's like if you talk about work and if you talk about streaming, you put a quarter in the jar. Okay, so another quarter goes in the jar. What's up, Nug Bones? Nice Germa. Um, I think it's a lot like being, and not that I am anywhere close to this. But I think it's like trying to be like a live performing musician in the sense that it takes a long, not take, it's, it's, it's a lot of effort. First of all, it's a lot of effort. It can be a lot of effort. I mean, for some people it isn't in a good way. It's just, they're so naturally good at it. Um, but it, it's like trying to book, instead of booking different venues, you know, you have your own venue and you're just trying to get people to have fun at your venue. But then it's like kind of inconsistent, like the attention market is super saturated. Um, but I think the most important thing is like you kind of have to just straight up enjoy it and not think about the other parts too much. Because I would say I legitimately enjoy the whole process of this. I mean, streaming is something I'm so glad exists because it's one of those things where as a kid, I like wanted something like this. As I was learning about computers, I'm like, oh, it would be cool if I could like talk to my friends. And then as I understood the internet more, I'm like, it would be cool if all these things happen, like live video streaming, et cetera, et cetera. And then Twitch actually is just like everything that I've wished existed and more. And then now what's even more fun because I've, I've streamed before, I've streamed like, yeah, I've streamed before. Now, you know, when, when I was like, oh, I wish there was like a way to make yourself an avatar as a streamer. So you don't have to show your face. You're just like a talking, talking anime guy or something. And I, there were actually some early versions of this. I'm like, oh my God, this is so cool. But they were okay. I'm like, okay, it's not really taking off, but this is cool. I like that it exists. And then I'm like, oh, I wish there was a way to like hook up channel points in a way to like just black out the stream anytime you want. And then like, yeah, all this, all these tools just came out. And I'm like, oh, this is sick. I, I, everything you're seeing is just a culmination of like everything I wish existed. I'm kind of running out of that, to be honest. <laughs> kind of running out of ideas uh, or kind of running out of the wish list. We, we, but we're adding more to the wish list, to be honest. The jacket's back. Yeah, I've had the jacket for a bit. Um, I can export 
yeah, someone on the Discord was saying, can you export VT? So good you if you want to be anything. Yeah, exactly. I think VTubing was also good. I also thought like the like hot take maybe a little bit um, or counter take. Kind of the the thought is like, oh, with VTubing, you don't have to like be an idol. You don't have to like do all this idol shit, which is true. Like, absolutely. I think that's the right mentality. But being an idol is really good, a really good way to make money. To get your stream off the ground and get attention and start making money. Because if you're like an idol ish VTuber or you follow those tropes, you're like, guys, I'm like, doing a, 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 another subathon or I'm doing like a, a, a sub thing and it's like completely normal. Which I think is good. I think more streamers should just, if, if streamers want money, they should just ask for it straight up. If they're comfortable with it. There are definitely people not comfortable with that. There are definitely people who are like, oh, I never want to ask. That's just like not my thing. But there are definitely people on the side of like, oh, I... Want, I need it to live. I want to make this a thing, but I don't want to talk about it because it makes me feel like, you know, selling out. It's like, bro, 2023. Like pre, I, I say this a ton. In 2013 or 2014, it was insane. The thought that you would pay another content creator online is insane, was insane. It was like, you should just do it for ad money and tips, maybe. It was absolutely like an insane thought you would do that. Like, why would you do that? The content's free. That was the that was the thinking. It became more normalized, like obviously when Twitch took off, Fortnite, etc. But became even more hyper normalized in the pandemic. Okay, a little bit boomer is, is leaking out right now, but just just trust me, it is so different. Like the. The way people think about stuff is so different, and I think it's in a good way. I think the online, like, you know, participating in an online economy is, like, pretty decent right now. Yeah, in the late 2010s, having a Patreon was seen as scummy. Exactly. Lifetime subscriptions on Twitch. I do. They, they were custom. They were custom. I predicted this all and was told I was insane. Yeah, man. That's the other thing I learned. It sucks to be correct about the future and it sucks to be first on the future. And I, I mean that truly unironically. Growing up and like learning about the technology industry, there was this thing called um, like first mover advantage. It's like, oh, you gotta be first. You gotta be like the first person to do this. And I'm like, I don't, I absolutely don't think that's true. It's, it's just been proven out. It's like, that's not true. Cause Facebook was not the first version of it. Facebook was like not the first version of social media. Which was not the first version of like online live streaming either. So. Yeah, it sucks to be correct. And I, I, I truly mean that it's, it sucks to just have the correct opinion about the future. A lot of online spaces making money seems to be true. I think the spaces I inhabit is like, I'm I like to inhabit spaces where people are like actively creating things, and I think in those spaces it's like getting a bit more, almost to like a wild degree, almost to a wild degree, um, that it's like normalized to to ask for income. Like to me, it feels a little off that. I totally understand why. I need to articulate the next point a bit better. I'm gonna think about that a bit. Do I consider OpenAI to be first? Mm. I, I to me it feels first, but I'm sure if you look, it anything with those types of industries, if you look deep into it, you'll find people saying like, "Oh yeah, this is like completely like not new." I think people were saying that about like ChatGPT too. It's like that technology, basically like the super autocomplete kind of thing is not new. What is new is like maybe how they did it, right? Yeah. And I think OpenAI, as, as I use it more, it's super useful. 
but it just so much of it makes me makes me realize how much the concept of artificial intelligence is almost like a game. It's almost like smoke and mirrors. Not in a bad way, it's it just makes me rethink what I would consider artificial intelligence. It's incredibly helpful. It's incredibly good though. The first version is to sell the carnal side of things, find success. Yeah, I think there is truth to like being first. Like the first to quote unquote do it right. Or first to do it in a way that resonates with like a lot of people. The first to reach like the wide audience, the, the first to have a, a wide platform. It's not just having like the first most innovative thing. This is kind of a lesson I've had to learn. Hoping I was the first to use an underpaid labor to accelerate the product. Actually, kind of true. That's like, uh, that's something we should talk about more as a society is uh th there are people there are like actual humans behind open ai like checking it and shit or like responding but that that goes back to the idea that like the illusion of ai or like the illusion of it is like much more powerful than it actually working 100 percent. i i think that's actually good i think it's awesome Lazy writing a paper got very so you asked ChatGPT to give you a source on the thing that happened and it made up an event and even gave a fake source of a link that goes nowhere. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that a little bit. That's why when I use it a little bit for programming, uh when I when I use it for programming a little bit, um I still have to double check it. It's still really good at programming because programming is like, it's not like, I mean, there is context in programming, but it's very fixed, right? Like, if you just want to write a simple for loop or something like that, like, there are a number of words that will always be associated with that. Obviously, as you get more complex, it gets harder, but hey, it's, it's good at what it does. It's commodity fetishism. That's actually true. Hasn't given you broken code yet? Oh, it's not giving me broken code, but it has given me code that kind of works out of context. Like as as more as the code gets like kind of more for me contextual, it it it, it doesn't break. It just can't assume the same things I'm assuming. GPT three told you the funniest streamer on Twitch is Ninja. Yeah, but if you think about like the most pop like that's an interesting look into the breadth of the training data it has versus like the depth it could possibly go to. And in it, like I think stopped training before maybe 2020 or something like that. I don't remember percent. Here's a here's a fun exercise I like to do, which is think about a topic that you know really well. Like a fandom, maybe a craft, maybe just like a TV show. And go to the subreddit of that topic. Right. Even better if you are like a expert in that field, let's say chemistry or like history or something. Go to the subreddit and read the takes there because you'll probably be horrified. And you're like, wow, if this specialized community and this is what this is what people look at as experts, if that's what experts look like, like we are kind of screwed, like this is not accurate at all. I feel like that's a uh, that hallucination of like expertise is like very true within ChatGPT. But at the same time, it's a uh, it's helpful because if you just need the surface level stuff, it's great. You're extremely knowledgeable toe. Yeah. Because we understand that the AI can't arrive at the same answers, but we still don't fully understand the process and how the AI, AI arrives at the answer. What's so powerful about GPT is that I can explain a problem in plain English. I don't have to be an SEO ninja. Yeah, yeah. 
difference is everyone knows those Reddit people are bullshitters. Not everybody. Not everybody. Morning stream, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to do a morning stream. Just a chatty stream today. Um, I'm going to... We'll do knives. Yeah, we are all on Sunday. I think people just appreciate a Sunday, right? We're just talking, it's Sunday. They like my coffee. I had one sip. To be quite honest, I've had to... I have had to... Ooh, let's get up close. I've had to... Um, I've had to actually stop drinking coffee for a little bit. It's been maybe like... I've had coffee here and there, but like I used to drink it every morning. Maybe it's like two weeks now. Because in the middle of the workday, like 2 or 3 p.m., I would have insane anxiety. Like physically... Uh, like my, my... I would physically feel, feel ill over the anxiety. And I think it's because I there's a big project I've been working on and everything's going great. Everything's going fine to, you know, there, of course, there are hiccups, but it's nothing. Nothing's the end of the world. Things are looking fine. But just the idea that it's big, I think, and the, the idea that there's a lot going on just kind of, you know, seeps into my seeps into me a little bit. So. And I, yeah, I mean. It, it got to the point, obviously, I, I can sometimes tough it out. I'm like, okay, whatever, just it is what it is. Let's just let's just get this shit done. But it got really bad. It, it got super bad. I would never worry about my stove being on. I have a gas stove, but like I started worrying about that a lot more. I'm like, I never worry about the stove being on. Like This is weird. Little caffeinated coffee chips or chocolates, though. Hmm. Also, I've been, like, sleeping a little better and waking up more naturally, so... Lower caffeine brews? Cold brew. Is cold brew lower caffeine? No way. I love cold brew. I I'll drink coffee just straight up. Black. My eyes are dilated. <laughs> Shut up. Is this habitual? Yeah, the other thing is I want to make sure that I can keep caffeine as something that I, I, I can just use to juice myself up, you know? Because if it's habitual, then, then there goes like a extra stim, like an extra stim I can take. Cold brew is lower caffeine? I never knew that. I thought it was always higher. What? I legitimately thought it was a higher concentration of caffeine up to this point. I sound tired. It's morning. It's too acidic. I love I love the smell. Just the smell and the taste is uh I've associated with the like good times now. Simply mince with matcha powder. Ooh. No, I'm a I'm a big water Andy. I'm okay with just some water. I'm I'm big on water. If I ever sold merch, I would love to sell a like 64 ounce water bottle. Like a really, really big. Really, really big water bottle. Just so just so I know that the people who buy it stay hydrated. I mean, you should just go buy one right now, you know? I have a question. I prefer my coffee strong and bold, but my one roommate likes it very light. What should I do? Is it bad to just tell them to water it down? Oh, and you share the same coffee thing? Yeah, wait, wait I feel like in that situation, the compromise is... You keep it strong and bold when you make it, and then when you pour it out, like... Either just add a lot of ice to the cup, so like the ice melts over time into the coffee and makes it diluted. Because it's just water and, and grounds. I agree with you, Squeaver. Just just water it down. You have the most options making it the most strong, I think.
I need to make the chat window bigger. Very chatty day. You're gonna go yell at your roommate. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Tell them. Tell them I did. Tell them. Tell them I personally told you to do that. One with LED readouts, so you know how much you had during the day. I just know I have a really big water bottle, so I just know if I drink two of those a day, I'm I'm set. What's the I in the fraction of the day? It's an imaginary fraction. Yeah, today's fraction of the day is 345 over 360I. The I is uh, imaginary. Newer 64 ounce don't fit in cup holders. Ooh. Do you have a water bottle with all the shitty motivational things? No, my water bottle is just really big. So just looking at it reminds me to finish it. It's just really, really big. I'm gonna put the eye on the top and add a negative sign. We would fill the water bottle with soda. I became a huge water Andy. Um, I became a, a huge water Andy. This one time after like a night of drinking, um, and I was hosting people at my place. So like, I woke up, I went to like the the living room area. All the friends were passed out. I'm like, I'm thirsty. I want to drink. And the night before, we drank a ton of Dr Pepper, and we drank a ton of Dr Pepper. And, and like, uh, I don't know, fireball maybe? Something really bad. And so I'm super dehydrated. And I remember seeing a cup of like dried Dr. Pepper in the cup. And I'm like, I'm just going to stop drinking soda for a bit. It's just, it's just the feeling I had in my body and seeing that um, radicalized me so hard. Soda is healthy, yes. What's more healthier than soda? Powdered energy supplements. Go baby. carbonated water carbonated water is a great version for that if you think water tastes bad have you even not been having ice what do i can't understand the diet coke thing i want to i kind of want to get addicted to the diet coke to like understand what the vibe like what the what the vibe is i i want to try it No, a Coke, yeah, soda is delicious to me. I have like a one soda a week, I think. Oh, uh, oops. Hold on, I want to pull up something here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's uh... a... <laughs> I tricked you. I tricked you guys. This is my podcast. This is my... This was actually a podcast. This is actually a morning podcast. It was brought to you by Nature Box. Nature Box is a healthy monthly snack box subscription that gives you healthy snack alternatives every month.
TikTok subgenre of people making flavored water, putting like Skittle crystal light in the water with custom ice markers. Whoa. I need to get on that TikTok. What's up, 12 guys on? I thank you for checking in with attendance. You need to switch your webcam mic so it's like this fake TikTok podcast. I, w I need to find a way to like switch between the two. You know, switch between me and, and the chat a little bit. It's something like, uh, hold on. I can do this real quick. Um, hold on. Uh, I have too many. I have too many scenes. Okay, now you add this scene. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. So then now, you know, now I can be talking to you guys like... Using the SM7B exclusively as a prop. Hey, I heard this tip a while ago and I think it's actually true. So, instead of spending money on an actual SM7B, if you're a VTuber, just Photoshop an SM7B on top of your face because not only does it make you look more professional because every professional broadcaster has an SM7B not only does it make you look more professional but your viewers looking at it they'll associate the look of the SM7B with better audio quality so it tricks their brain to it tricks their brain that the audio is actually better This is true. This is absolutely true. I would never make this up. RGB lighting? I got that. How much does an SM7B cost? <laughs> I think like $300 or $400. Yeah, I mean, like, check this out. Check this out. Look, if I remove it, Test. This is me talking about my day. I had a great day today. I woke up, cleaned up, started streaming. This is my voice without the SM7B. Right? Doesn't sound as doesn't sound as clean. Doesn't sound as uh, yeah, it doesn't sound as good. But then if I add the SM7B, it sounds so much better, right? It sounds way better. Yeah, it sounds so much more clear. And the thing is, I didn't have to adjust anything. I didn't, it sounds so crisp. I didn't have to adjust anything. Just putting this SM7B in front of my face makes, makes it, makes your brain fill in the audio quality. Right? And yeah, everything I say is much more legit. Can you do this and add a subtle bass boost? Who says I'm not doing that already? We're just watching blind. That's a good that's a good question actually. See, this is with the SM7B. This is with the SM7B. You're you you just it just feels more clean, right? This is without the SM7B, see? You can't hear the difference. You can hear the difference. You can hear the difference. And it's all visual. It's all absolutely visual. I'm not adjusting any... I'm not adjusting any microphone settings. It's your brain looking at it. It's your brain looking at it and then like processing it. Processing the audio. Because if I put it back up, see, you can tell it sounds way more clear. And that's because you've watched so many TikToks, you've watched so many YouTube videos 
where the SM7B commanded like, oh, this person kind of knows what they're talking about, they have a show, that it just, that link has been made in your brain. It's been burned into your brain. Don't trust your brain, exactly. Sound too close? No. It's- it's- you have to have a mindset shift. That's what needs to happen. I'm at- I added a filter to make it worse. I'm coming to you guys with some legitimate, like, broadcasting advice. This is, this is, I found this out from years of research, and you're telling me that I'm faking it for you. Which is actually just so insulting. I've dedicated so much time to understanding the nuances of, uh, neural processing when it comes to streaming. And you're like, oh, you're making it out, you're, you're faking it for clout, okay, fine. I'm gaslighting, huh? Interesting, interesting take. Interesting, interesting take from the chat who kept saying that the fraction of the day, the fraction of the day was the sub goal. Interesting. I'm not implying anything, I just think that's interesting. You know, what do you think? Do you, what do you think? Do you think the chat's, uh, do you think the chat's trying to gaslight us? Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. Chat is an imaginary numbers. Yes. Can you have an imaginary number as a denominator? Uh, I think so. I think so, maybe, a little bit. And have you ever gaslit me? Yeah, you're right, it's never happened. It has never happened. Ever. Pretty cool that we can use non-existent numbers and math and still get coherent results. I just... If you want to talk about gaslighting, let's talk about... imaginary numbers. <laughs> Costco is so lucky to have a loyal advertising for them that expects no pay. Yeah, they should at least give me a free membership. I think a Costco basic membership is like $60 a year, which is $5 a month. Which is basically a, a Twitch sub, right? Jacket's back? Yeah, jacket's back for today. I, uh, yeah. Re someone remind me, so this week, yeah, stream schedule this week, I want to do... Um, I want to do a couple more interactive streams, like maybe D and D, but definitely like Frog Tank. I want to bring. It's been so long since we've done Frog Tank. It's been so long since we've done Frog Tank, so I want to do Frog yeah. Tank this week. Ooh, Steezies, thank you for the one month sub. Thank you, thank you, Steezies. You're helping. Your 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 new sub, your one month sub, actually helps so much. Let me tell you why. It's because the age of our subs are 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 kind of pretty high. It's pretty high. Like most sub people, I think, are like six months and longer. The sub population's aging, so getting getting uh getting newer newer subs in here 
We keep our sovereign Skinner box, nation state strong. My age demographic? Absolutely no one in the chat is over the age of 30. I've, ma I've made sure of that. Let's rip off every popular reality show, do Frog Survivor, and vote Frogs off as we do challenges. What is Frog Tank? Frog Tank is um, a show where I pitch you I business ideas and you choose whether or not to invest. And then other people in the chat come on and they pitch their ideas and then we decide to invest in them or not. I think we've done this twice. I'm like, that was really fun. We should do that more often. And then I just stopped doing it. Eric is 30. Okay, well, first of all, when I said when I said no one in the age, no one in the chat is over the age of 30. I didn't mean to like they dox everybody who is over the age of 30. It's so easy to extract information from everybody. <laughs> Just say the opposite of what I want. Guys, I want to address something in the last stream, okay? Uh, I want to address something... I want to address something from the last stream. Also, people over 30... Being 30 is like the... the vegan of ages, right? Because if you're 30, you love to tell people that you're over 30. 30 month subs. True, too. If you're over 13, then congratulations. You, I think that is the minimum age I would use Twitch. Don't quote me on that. But I think that is true. Let's run an age poll. Yeah, guys, participate in the poll. I'm going to ask your age, your name, your social security number, and your location. The age of 30 is in demand. It is in demand. That's very true. Guys, what's your favorite four-digit combination? <laughs> yeah, instead of fraction of the day, I'm going to put four-digit combination of the day. It's so one of you 100% will post your pin number. And I won't know it's your pin number, but so that's that's the whole, that's the fun of it. The reason you 20? That's kind of true, but in a way that if you think about it is kind of sad. And that's because I think most people sort of understand or like get a better sense of financial stability at 30 or at least like You know, not true for everybody, but things in your life, I think, feel a bit more together sometimes, a little bit. Your pin number is six numbers, actually. You didn't have to divulge that information. <laughs> your credit card number leak, you're fucked. Yeah, I think that's true for everybody. The age of 30 is in demand. I'm gonna try that, actually. <laughs> Let's go. I wanna try it. I'm kinda I'm kinda down to try it. Now now I have to find somewhere where I can input a credit card number to pay for something. I'm, I'm like, this is this thing operation. Oh damn, thank you for telling me. I'm 20944132. Guys, don't put. I think at a certain point, I might get like reported if there's too much personal information in the chat. I Not to say there's any precedent for this, but just my paranoia. Not to say there's any precedent for this, just my paranoia is like, if you guys keep posting personal information, someone's gonna think it's actual personal information. Try the Bad Dragon website.
What, what's your favorite four digit sequence of integers? Nikonosuke, thank you for checking with attendance. This can be the Lost stream. You can participate in like the Lost Files lore. I totally forgot Lost as a show existed until you brought that up. And like, maybe that has a deep, maybe that had a deep influence in our obsession with numbers on the stream. I've never watched, I've seen, I think all of, not all of it. I have watched like important episodes of Lost because I, I used to know people who were deeply into Lost. So like, I've just seen some episodes by proxy. Four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two. Dude, what if on the stream? How did it work in Lost? It was like every couple hours, the the island would start breaking apart, so they would have to insert the numbers into a computer to prevent it from breaking apart. Like, what if the stream started getting fucked up and fuzzy, and you would have to insert numbers into the chat, like Lost? to keep the, the quality going. The only problem there is people kind of like the stream fucked up and fuzzy, so I would have to find an actual incentive. <laughs> Maybe I'll run an ad. <laughs> Maybe I have, I'll run a six minute ad break unless you guys start spamming the number in chat. One one three nine zero three is your actual iPhone pin if one of you steals your phone. They never know what would happen if they didn't enter them. Yeah, but it gets all earthquakey, so that's scary. Getting an earthquake is, is very scary. Oh shit! Steezies, if you sub, thank you for subbing, but of one thing I forgot to mention, you may have not been here, is uh that is uh that is the um the fraction of the day. That's not a sub goal. People get it confused. So it's not going to go up, but the, my subscriber number went up, which I saw, thank you. But the fraction of the day will not change depending on who subs. You're aware? Okay, thank you. Woo. Hello, one true anime. What is, what is your one true anime? But I want a white background, something easier on the eyes. I like the white background. I can make it different. Yeah, if there's something you want to change, just, just you can just ask. Uh, wait, shouldn't this be working? Peter. Oh, actually, let me try this. Is that better? Is that easier on the eyes? Well, that beer showed up. There we go. It's like more of a gradient. Big improvement. Oh, okay. We'll I'll keep it like this. It's not gray. It's like a tasteful, tasteful gradient. The stream in low battery mode. Use the interior of Costco. I do need a background artist. I kind of need like a background artist. Sort of on retainer, maybe. I don't know if retainer is the right word, but like. Just, I, I need I need someone to just make make backgrounds. Am I in front of another bigger toilet? It's for the second lore debut. Yeah. I'm not using mid journey because that's controversial, and that's unfortunate depending on what side of the fence you fall on. You need to be able to adjust the brightness of the stream. Yeah, chat, chat, do that. Chat does that with channel points. I'm going to get some knives going actually really quick. 
Uh, because I have to wrap the stream up, I think, in like 30-ish minutes. But yeah, today's chill. Little chat and knives. I said we would do knives, so we're gonna do knives. Fuck. Oh, whoops. Praise the fraction. Let's go. Why is there an I in the fraction? It's a. Uh, it's the imaginary fraction of the day. You can't. You can't say it's a sub goal. It's imaginary. Okay, uh, let me see a good window capture situation. Oh. What? I will not window capture. I want to show off these new knives. New knives. Oh, it's just behind the thing. Behind the SM7B. So here are the new knives. Uh, this one is the album art cover knife. I'm not gonna lie, for the album art cover that I made for the song I released, I kind of wish I took more time on it. Because I found another look that I liked a lot more. And I'm like, oh well, it's too late. And you can't you can't update this shit on um bank on, on YouTube and Spotify, so it's just it is what it is. But album bar knife, thank you so much. This is from Gunzen. We have just three knives to show off today. The controversial knife from um, vodka. Very controversial. And the prank knife. You get this knife if you're pranked. If you get if you get a big prank. Okay, if you get pranked super hard. So that, those are our new knives. And for people who are new here, what, what is this whole knife business? What are we talking about? Um, there is a not loot box mechanic in which you can... There's a not loot box mechanic in which... On, I want to pin a message. A not loot box mechanic where you can pull a knife that's been drawn by a chatter or a community member on the stream which is very cool a lot of you have submitted knives um over the past like month i think and a half since we've done this i think we I, we're not at 100 knives yet but it's pretty close we should have a knife goal we should have a not wait we should have a knife goal like i want to get to 100 knives you have the song in your playlist. This is a uh, a Gran Turismo song. I'll link you the direct part. How many do you have currently? We have 75. 75 knives. Um, you had recently, you perhaps redesigned the Shin Dagger site on Figma to be cuter. How hard would it be to implement? Um, wow. Well, thank you for doing that. Uh, we would have to ask Chandy Man. I kind of want to get in there and do some... And do some... I mean, share it. We can figure it out. We can have a... Oh my god. We, we could have stand-up and we can go over the designs. Can I set up a, a quick sync with you and we can go over the designs with the engineer? I'm gonna have to book over the no meeting block, though. Is that okay? I'm gonna have to book over your lunch hour. Is that fine? Yeah, and also I'll add, I'll, I'll add a few people as optional, but if they can't attend, I'll write an email to everybody so they're all aligned. Making you Sunday scaries.
What other, uh, what other stream makes you feel anything? <laughs> Just send your file. Yeah, no rush. That po I mean, post it. Post it in the chat, too. In Discord, too, I think. If you're comfortable with it, by the way. Dude, there's something happening in the stand-ups I attend that I am so bad at. Which is, um... You know, if you're introducing yourself, or... And let me, let me back up, this is jargon. So, like, in this office job, when you're on a remote call and you're giving your updates, that's like the stand-up, right? Every morning for like 15 minutes. But these calls maybe have like 5 to 10 people in them, so everyone has to go. Was test knife 1? It's a test. But the thing is, so like, you could- there are a couple ways to like get everyone's updates, which is like, go in the order that everyone joined. Or go- or go in the order of like everyone's last name, right? But a new thing that's happening is like, the person who just went has to pick the next person, and I can't remember who just went. Does that make sense? So like, I often find myself in a situation where I'm like, oh, hey, this person should go, and they're like, I just went, and I'm like, oh shit, my bad. And the first time I did that, I was like, oh, this sucks. I'll just get better next time. But I'm not getting better. I'm not getting better at all. It's really bad. It's I'm like dog shit at this. Exposed is not- I am paying attention! I just don't remember. It's just- it. It's a lot to keep in your head. Especially if you go last. Like the- the string of people you have to keep in your head is is really long. I guess I should just remember who's available. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the right strategy for this. Anyway, let's do let's do the knives. We we did a couple tests. Why you see the um, why you're seeing the knives is um. Hold on, excuse me. Why, why you're seeing the different knives is, uh... Let me put it somewhere. On here? Let's just make it big. Fuck it. The, the knife is on the podcast now. Yeah, Vodka, your podcast idea is, is a good idea. I, I, I've been thinking about that for a little bit. Yeah, the, the knife is the podcast. Hope you get a broken duplicate knife. So the reason why you see those test knives is there's a way for me to upload the knives directly to the website. And I think one idea, not sure if it, you know, this is all like volunteer fun time from Chandy Man, so I'm not going to ask him to do anything if he doesn't have the time. But one thing we discussed was like people can submit knives to the website. People can submit knives through the website. And then I can just approve them through the website. Is the broken one able to be drawn? There are a couple test knives, and that's just me testing the upload system. And some of, some of them broke for one reason or another. So I don't think you can get them. What's your thought on the port? Okay, let's do some knives, because I gotta dip. Oh my god, I have to dip really soon, what the frick? Okay, let me enable the knife reward, what is it? Okay. Yeah, for those of you who are new, uh, this is something... This is a fun little thing where you get to get a knife from the knife box. And you can look it up on shindaggers.io, made by Chandy Man in the chat. And uh, not an NFT. Not a loot box, not a gotcha. I don't know what it is. It's abundant, that's all we know. I am worthy of abundance. I am grateful for all Ooh. I have and so grateful for all that is coming. Everything I want is coming to me. I can't wait to receive more money. Ooh, Costco I knife! Wait, Ziggy, you got your own knife. Daily basis. 
Yeah, we got a channel abundance, and then I also more wealth in my life. I will do also so much good. With you gotta gas yourself. I you gotta you gotta give. encourage each other. Money in the chat. You gotta celebrate each other's knives. I am. Money Let's go. Loves me, money is attracted to me. I love to think about how I can use wealth for the benefit of many around me. I am blessed. I am rich. I am wealthy. I have freedom. What an amazing life I have. I Ooh. am so blessed to have this level of wealth. I am so blessed to have this so level of life abundance. To be in the position of yeah, let's see those claps. These are still first abundance. edition. Uh, yeah, until I update I that. I am an amazing creator of wealth. I have let's go. I need to create the life that I want. I am abundant. I am wealthy. I am wealth that I I like the deserve. fantasy theme knives. I'm really starting to love those ones. I am the you gotta clap for Obama. Force, Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Own destiny. I live an abundant <gasps> lifestyle. Ah, my and headless I get, knife. I give. Yo, the knives are so cool. <laughs> I am committed to a life of Thank you. To Thank you, Grips1000. That's a great that name. I, so, I know it seems like a simple name, but there's something about Grips1000 that's really resonating with me. Welcome. World, I will give All these knives are, are drawn by chatters, so if you join the Discord, you can find the template for the knife, and you can uh, contribute, I and we update the knives the at least once a week. I try to update I them once a week. Into the world, and I Usually just Grips, but creatures stole Grips. Uh, of abundance. Two super rows in a row. To think That's that, it, it does set a great precedent. In such way, I attract exactly what I deserve. I believe I am a racer head baby. And I First am attracted a racer head baby. You suck at drawing for the silly style. Yeah, just do it's just it's just a silly thing. It's for fun. And if you click Money the pin chat easily to me. The pin chat goes to a website called shindaggers.io, which is set up by a, a chatter, is flowing Jenny Man. Me. I'm not sure if they're here right now, but I it's a website where you can look money. up all your knives. Money you can also look it up in uh, Discord as well. It's just a lot money harder to me in that channel. Money I'm called ladies in your collection. Uh-oh. Hmm, maybe it broke. Oh, well, let me refresh. Abundance. I am worthy of abundance. Ah. Oh. I am grateful. Wait a second. That's not good. And so grateful for all that is coming. Everything I want is coming to me. I can't wait uh -oh. to receive more money. I am receiving. Oh, it looks more like it didn't send to the website properly. Basis. Okay. I know. We got scam. No, 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 no. I have. I keep life. um. <laughs> All my knives so gone. <laughs> with the I'm not I scamming, am. dude. Money. I'm not is scamming. As I it's am. it's it's technology. It's hard. Money loves me. Money is attracted to me. It's hard. I love to think about how I can use wealth for the benefit of many around me. We got the item label. I am Let's blessed. go. I am rich. It's a cute one. I am wealthy. I have super freedom. cute knife. What an amazing Humpy grip life for grips. I True. Have. I am so blessed to have this level of wealth. I am so blessed Ooh, to knife. be in the position of prosperity. Halfway to Panama? Abundance. No. I, I uh, am an amazing. I think something on the website's off, of so wealth. I'll just ask. I do keep a, a second. I spreadsheet that just shows all the knives to create the life that were that were that were uh abundant that were earned I am so wealth. i can always ask to re-upload the website I with um the with the right knives sorry with the right spreadsheet basically 
I am the of my thoughts, and I <laughs> okay, my that's a little, destiny. that's a little far, don't you think? I think equating hundreds of I millions, billions in, style. uh, in what crypto I get, fraud I give. to the the knife website isn't updating. I am committed a little bit of a stretch, of don't you think so? Just a little bit. The uh, any anyone want to back me up there? Just, that's just a little. A little bit of an exaggeration, don't you think? No? No? Are you sure? Show us the accounting girl sheet. I will. I will. That's for the mob to decide, oh god. I think abundantly, and by thinking in such way, I attract exactly what I deserve. What do we I got here? Um, I am worthy of abundance. Social, uh, I am attracting uh, uh, abundance into my life. Every moment sorry, I'm, I'm pulling up the spreadsheet. Day. There, Money see? Flows it's all accounted for. To me. It's my all accounted for. freedom is only one step away. Abundance is flowing to me. I feel good about money, and money flows into my life. Yo, Coral, no, you, you, you've you been here too long. You money understand. To and me, today, I'm it's an imaginary me. fraction. So it's super money clear that there's no way you can influence it by subscribing. And in large numbers. Absolutely no way. I am deserving of abundance. I am worthy of abundance. I am grateful. Ooh, Toy, you got the 3D 2D have, knife. Nice. And so grateful. Oh, what's up, Taijiro? You got the knife lens, the Kirkland knife. Is coming to There's me. no good place to put this. <laughs> I can't wait to put it right here. I'm gonna cover my face. Money. I am You're enjoying the cold? Abundance on a daily basis. I know I deserve more wealth. What is the life. knife gen from? I will do so much good. You have a Costco membership? That's why I, I always knew you were cool. I always knew you were awesome. Money is a form You know a membership to Costco is five dollars a month or sixty dollars a year, basically Money like a Twitch sub. Loves me. The knife gen Money is uh is I use like a third party program to wire it together with OBS. To think about how I can um, use wealth. Candyman the made the website and then all the chatters drew their own knives and submitted it in Discord. I am and I put it into the system. I am rich. I am wealthy. I have freedom. Thank you, Coral. If you love it, I love it even I more. Have. No, that's not a competition. So just like I'm, I'm glad you like it. Level I love, I love wealth. Coral. The fake SM7B. So Look, I mean, you, you out of it. I'm gonna disable knives really quick so I can explain this. And abundance. I'm disable knives really quick. So Coral, what we were talking about earlier is um. I realized I was doing some uh, I was doing some research into kind of uh, neural sensory input. And what that means is like kind of how our brain processes processes uh, how how like audio is both like a visual and audio experience, right? So basically, if you're a viewer and you see an SM7B, I think your brain will just process the audio being better, whether or not they're actually using an SM7B. Just seeing an, SM, just seeing an SM7B makes the audio sound better. So you can save a lot of money not having to buy an SM7B, get a decent USB mic, and get like the last 10%, but just by showing the SM7B. Let me do a demo. Right? If I take away the Microsoft, if I take away the SM7B. It, I sound different, right? I don't sound as crisp. I don't sound as authoritative. I don't sound as good. Because your brain's like, oh, it's just a guy. I don't know what Mike is using. Sounds okay, but like, I don't really know. But then if I put SM7B on, suddenly I sound a lot more confident. I sound a lot more crisp. I sound a lot more clean. I sound a lot more professional. That's why I encourage people before they invest in a high-end XLR microphone to just use a cutout of an SM7B on top of themselves on stream. Because it makes yourself look, feel, 
in sound that much better without having to invest all that money. Kind of like a pseudo effect. It's not pseudo because it's real, right? First blood. Because our brains... The difference is crazy? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That is what I am saying. Don't buy an SM7B, just get the USB mic. Coral, that's true, maybe from an audio perspective, but from a projecting as a broadcaster perspective, I mean, don't don't myself and my co-host look like we know what we're talking about? Like, look, pod, podcast. We're on a podcast. Find a broken SS7B on eBay. <laughs> actually, that's awesome. That's actually awesome. Thank you, Shrimp VT. Yeah, if you're a VTuber and you're watching this, you this this is this works great for VTubers because uh because VTubers have always been at a disadvantage without having the SM7B in front of them like normal flush streamers. But now we're at a bigger advantage because we don't have to actually buy the SM7B. We just Photoshop it on top of our faces. SM7B is terrible if you don't have a good microphone posture. First Most people that use it don't get benefits. Mike before cereal, thank you for following. Oh, milk before cereal, not Mike. <laughs> Wait, milk before cereal is actually disgusting. What the fuck? <laughs> Your experience, calculate the distance between your avatar and the mic and drive the microphone level and ops from that. That way you get the distance effect from the pure SM7B experience. Adding this to your setup. Tell them where you heard it. That's all I asked. Tell them, tell them where you get your hot, your hot tips. The power of the virtual world. Yeah, it's so true. As a VTuber, they said you can be anything. They didn't, what they didn't tell you is you can virtually shoplift anything. Like that toilet, I didn't really pay for it. This SM7B, I actually didn't pay for it. Even if you have a face cam, just hide it at SM58 out of frame. Yes. Using a 57 for a decade, best mic. It is a really good microphone. I'm adding to stealing. Virtual. It's it's all virtual. The, the sounds are so Oh, I forgot on this on this mix, audio is like the audio dynamics are all over the place. You wouldn't down you download a car you wouldn't download a car unless you were a VTuber and needed some background props. Yeah, all those you wouldn't download X advertisements sweating in 2023. Does virtual theft sound like a crypto? I'm not guys. Wrong comparison. You absolutely would download a car. Absolutely true. I kind of got a little like K K car behold. Ludwig's new video talked about his new truck, um, in in like the Mogul Mail video that he did. Dude, that truck! It, I love seeing those trucks in Japan. I didn't know they were so cheap to import. That was that was actually a really informative and cool video. What? What? Ludwig purchased, like, imported uh, one of those small, cute trucks. Yeah, he got a K truck, and it was it was quote unquote fairly cheap because, like, used they're like it looked like two K to four K, and the import fees is kind of where they get you. It's like maybe another two K to four K to import the truck, so like maybe ten K to fifteen K total. But like compared to a normal used car that's like comparable if not like cheaper and yeah they got one it did get stolen yeah that was the problem but that's because he's like a famous youtuber who who like basically you know bragged that he had this truck i mean i would but uh, 
a little bit of a risk that it gets stolen. What the gas mileage on it is? Yeah. It looks really great to get like any type of air. It would look fantastic for a Costco run. It would look absolutely fantastic for a Costco run. can't be legal to drive since there's a wheel on the other side. I didn't finish the video, I had to do something else, but he went over some... something about, like, you could still drive it, like, he still drives it. And there's, like, a law that, like, kind of allows you to import it in some way. Plus, um, the, I think the, the, only, the other thing that's a little hard is that it's manual. 660cc, it must be super efficient. Oh, let's go. You own a right-handed drive car? Yeah, that... That plus it's manual is the thing you would have to get used to. And it's really cute. Yeah, he also just shared the website that he got it from with like... The 1.3 million subscribers he had on that channel, so... It's less safe. I imagine if you got in an accident, you're basically dead. Oh, I mean, maybe just driving on, on the right-hand side. Rolling coffins. Yeah, cars are already pretty... Are USPZS driving practice, driver practice. Oh, Japanese imported vehicles have to be older than, like, 25 years. Yeah, that was the law they were talking about. Ugh. Just the idea of getting an accident- getting into an accident on a K-truck sounds so scary. Mirrors and headlights are adjusted for the other side. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. All right, gamers, let's do um, let's do another round of knives because I have to go pretty soon. Unfortunately, I started later than I I wanted to today. Um, so so this week's stream schedule is going to be, I want to do Frog Tank. I want to get, I don't know if we'll do the fashion show this week, but I want to do a Peepo fashion show. I have about like three to four weeks before I have to head out. I'll take like a two week break. So like do a Peepo fashion show, frog tank, um, podcast. We have, um, we have a channel in Discord called Stream Ideas. And I, I do read through every single one, and I am, I do put them in a list that, like, I want to do all of them. It's just... Valencia Fraga. Yes, exactly. I do want to get through as many of them as possible. That is the goal. Um, and, and do and Sunday streams again. Sunday streams are great. Uh, chatting is really fun. And chatting with you folks is really fun. But uh, I'll try to also have some stuff prepared. The earlier I can start, the, the more stuff we can do. Let's do let's do knives really quick again. Let me add a second knife pull. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, you guys are going. Just seeing the the chat go nuts for knife. You're not here for the content. You're just here for the knife. You're not here for the content. You just want the knife. You just want your sick, sick blades. That's right. Oh wait, that's that might not be a knife. Nug bones. Uh, you might want to talk to me after the stream. I'm not sure that's a knife. Whoa! Condition bling. Congratulations on the on the Costco knife. Oh, there, there are a lot of these blunt knives being pulled. <laughs> That's a little... Not sure. Not sure about that one.
Rainbow Knife. Yeah, I'll ping Chandy Man after this. Uh, to see if we can get the website updated with uh, new knives. Might take a bit. Um, but this should it should be updating in real time. I think something's wrong on my end, actually. Ooh, this one's extra rare, even though it's already super rare. Repawn, thank you. We're doing one last knife pull, and then we'll do a quick raid to someone. Let's go. Ooh. Knife of Legends. Neon knife, nice. Dude, we are actually so still kind of left-handed knife or for left hand. Anyone left-handed actually? Anyone in the chat left-handed? And is anyone's height between 5'5 five five and 5'9? Five and what is your uh, eye color and your hair color? Your body weight and uh your social security number. <laughs> Any sinister sisters? You're left-handed? Enchanted knife. Thank you. Very enchanted. You are none of those things. Hmm. Ambidextrous? Whoa. Nice. Milk knife. Yeah, send a picture of your license for verification. Repon, you just got pranked! You got the prank knife. <laughs> you were just big pranks. Ooh! Eraser head baby. Inverted knife. Congratulations to all the new knife holders, returning knife holders, new rare knife holders. Oh, Knife of Moonlight, nice. Oh, you're redeeming both of yours, okay. I see. see. Alright. Sorry, shorter weekend stream, but what matters is we were here. What matters is we made the weekend stream happen again, even if it was short. Um, I'm going to send you to... Oh, okay, there's another VTuber stream. Okay, let's raid Mimi. So they're, they're playing Silent Hill... 2? I think they're playing Silent Hill 2. Thank you for joining. Oh, what? There are people outside. Thank you for joining. Let's raid Mimi because um, they're playing Silent Hill. I will see you guys tomorrow. I will see you all tomorrow. It's going to be a pretty packed week. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be super fun this week. I'm very happy that I got the extra little bits out of the model. I'll probably keep tweaking it a tiny bit. Um, I'll, I'll probably keep tweaking it just a tiny bit, but Thank you. Uh, I'm really excited that the model actually got a few more expressive factors. All right, thank you guys. Uh, say hi to- oh, what, what's the raid message? Uh, it just, we are so back. Let's just go with we are so back. <laughs>